Hey guys, this is the motor to an uh, Evergo Emperor that I got um, that is hopefully going in the museum. Um, it needs a little work. I've already done some work on it. The bearings were very stiff when I got it, so I have uh, put a little WD-40 there in the top bearing, and I'm just working that in. That's all I've done so far, other than uh, the housing was loose, I removed it. The switch housing was loose, and I tightened it. Uh, and I removed the light kit, which was also loose. So, first things first is giving it a little freeing up the bearings. And that, So there's a series of things I'm going to do to this, and I'll try to capture as many of them on camera as I can. The first one is bearings, freeing up the bearings. second one is there are uh, four different wires here of different colors. I am assuming that someone got in this before, and... Um, and what we have is two, uh, two wires for the light and two wires for the motor, which is silly because they both use the same neutral, but I'm assuming that's what happened. Okay, one of these... It looks like at one time there were two yellows and one of them was placed with a white. So I'm going to be testing that out. Um, i got to clean some marks off the housing, and i got to clean some... Uh, um, clean up the blades. The blades are pretty rough. So, like I said, first things first is working the bearings. It was really stiff when I started, and a little bit of WD-40 goes a long way. Um, I want to follow up with oil after I get them sufficiently freed up. It seems like the top bearing was the majority of the problem, but let's turn it upside down and see. That I can prop it on something with something I can prop it with. I guess I can just hold it with my hand, is what I would normally do, but I'm not used to having a camera. Let's see. Well, I guess I'll just do it like I would normally do it. I'll work a little bit in there. difficult to film with one hand. This one's kind of odd, instead of a variable speed control, it has a one, two, three speed knob. I have not seen that on one of these before. Three speed pull chain is common, and uh, I've seen them with variable before. Here, let's see if I can pop this on the organ here. No, it's too heavy. First, I thought this was cast aluminum, but it's very heavy, so I'm guessing it's cast iron. A magnet would help me to determine that. That seems like the bearings have gotten pretty free. So, um, here's what we're going to do next. Is, uh, let's get the tester. And let's see. Got all the parts to it in this bag here because I brought them over from my other shop because a lot of my stuff was here. Okay. So I'm going to set this to the transistor testing setting. And I'm going to plug it back in for the transistor testing setting. And the reason I use the transistor test is because then when you have continuity, beeps. So black, pretty sure black is going to be for the motor, not for the light, but let's test black. Oh, it came out. All right, I might have alligator clips around here somewhere. That would make this easier. Let's see if I got some handy right here. I was cleaning up in here the other day and I found a bunch of them. I don't remember what I did with them, and I needed them earlier today, too. I don't believe they were in my toolbox. So, uh, just gonna give a once over here. Could I put them in here? That seems like something I would do. There's one. Had a lot of projects and a lot of back and forth between here, my fan shop, Chuck's shop, so I'm having trouble keeping track of stuff. Okay. 
So let's check this against the light wires. No. No, let's check it against the white. Well, there's multiple white wires. Let's see here. Let's find the one that is white all the way and doesn't turn into yellow. I'll just... Okay. I'm going to switch it to ohms now because I want to see if there's continuity. Nope, no continuity. Guys, so I figured out why I wasn't having any luck getting continuity on the motor. It's because the reverse switch was bad. So I took it apart. You can see there's the bottom part. And this is the little contact that sat in there. And you can see it's pretty corroded. And it would make contact among those terminals there, which are also pretty corroded. So there's a few different things you can do. If you don't have a spare reverse switch, you can clean up the existing contacts and add a little uh, grease or lubricant of some kind. Deox, it would probably work very well. Um, but in this particular case, I happen to have a uh, replacement reverse switch that fits exactly. And I'm going to wire it in in place of the uh, existing one. So we did figure out that the two, the black and white wire, are uh, hot and neutral for the fan, and the other two white wires, well, the white wire, the yellow is hot for the light, and the white is neutral for the light. And uh, I don't have enough hands to wire in that reverse switch. So, um, with the camera going, so I'm going to stop the film and wire in the reverse switch and report back. As you'll see, I got the reverse switch replaced, and it's wired up and working. However, the bearings are still noisy, if you take a listen. So I'm going to continue to work it with WD-40 until they're silent, and then once they're silent, I will um, add some oil. So, turning it to low so the oil doesn't fly everywhere, or WD-40 at this case, rather. It's hard to tell which bearing it is, I'm trying to listen. Sounds like the bottom bearing. So I'm going to flip it over and work on that one. Uh, it's, again, I don't have enough hands to do this and film, so I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, while I let the uh, oil work into the bearings, I'm going to work on some other things. You see there's some weird stuff on this housing here. So I'm going to use something that I've been trying recently on brass plating, which is the liquid gold furniture polish. It's recommended for brass hinges and things, and those are usually plated, so I figure let's give it a try. <clears throat> Just going to buff it out with a paper towel. I'm not going to... Uh... Here's a clean paper towel already ripped off. Isn't that convenient? Not going to uh, try anything more abrasive. And you'll see that took it clear it off. I'm gonna use that to shine up the rest of the housing. And I'm just gonna set the housing down and spray it on all sides. Like I said, it seems to be doing well. I haven't had any problems with it using it on brass plating, and it seems to be giving a nice result. I always like being able to use the same product for multiple things, like WD-40 for everything. And WD-40 is kind of hard on brass plating, so this is a welcome uh, addition to the family. I'll work on that a little bit more when I have more hands. But next up, let's take a look at the blades. I brought the blades over here especially because they're pretty rough. Hey, I've got this carpet over here. We can set them on that. Some of them have paint on them. I'm going to try to remove that. But first, let's try the same stuff. 
Let's just give him a coat of the liquid gold. Look at the kind of difference that made already. So let's see if that'll buff the paint out. Doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna need some something a little bit more potent to get the paint off. Looks like house paint. Let's see if I have any goof off over here. That's my go-to. Oh, falling things falling. I used to keep it here, but I haven't uh, been working here lately, so I don't keep up with what's here anymore. Let's go over here. I might have brought it all to my fan shop at my dad's house. I'm not seeing anything. Here, let's try this. Furniture or finish. It removes old, dirty finishes without stripping or sanding. Let's give that a try. It's again hard to do with less hands. Okay, I got a little bit on the rag. And let's see. Oh, that takes it right off. Look at that. Look at that. And if I take some of the, uh, okay, no paint on there. No paint on there. No paint on there. Just a little spat right there. Oh, that came right off. Okay. Well, that's good. So what I'm going to do, because that stuff is flammable, is I am going to rinse the rag before I throw it away. I've heard horror stories about oily rags spontaneously combusting. We don't want that to happen here. While I have these flipped, I'll give them another coat of the uh, liquid gold. It looks, like, it looks like there is a little bit of something on this, but those are the tops of the blades. I'm not too worried about that. And this is the one here. You can see the finish has come off a little bit with it. Let's see what I'm going to do then. I'm going to fill that in with old English scratch cover. So, that's... Yeah, oh, man. I wish I had more hands. I'm going to buff it out with a paper towel. And uh, try to open this one-handed. It's a child safe top, and I am a, basically a child. Okay. And let's see how that fills that in. I'm not expecting perfection, just uh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give the whole blades a coat of the old English, I think, because I like what it does to them. And, uh,. I'll do another video if I work on these anymore tonight. I think this might be everything we need. Um, but uh, if anything else comes up, I'll do another video.